Hey y'all, Shelly here with another tip for hospice nurses, secondary versus comorbid. We have to make this distinction on all the diagnoses in the patient's diagnosis list. And while it's not um, something that affects what we do a whole lot, it is actually a big deal and it's going to become even more significant in the future. So secondary complications are complications that have a occurred as a direct result of the primary diagnosis. So they are directly related to the primary diagnosis. For example, patient has COPD. Dyspnea is a secondary complication of COPD. Cyanosis is a secondary complication of COPD. But for the COPD, the dyspnea and the cyanosis would not exist. On the other hand, comorbid conditions are conditions that exist in spite of the primary diagnosis or alongside of it, but completely unrelated to it. So for example, with the COPD, hypertension, diabetes, hyperlipidemia, none of those things are related to the COPD. If the COPD goes away, the patient is probably still gonna have the hypertension, the diabetes, the hyperlipidemia. So they are comorbid, they coexist with the primary diagnosis. Now, sometimes it's not quite so cut and dry um, let's say, for example, we still have the patient with COPD, but they also have confusion. Well, confusion could be related to COPD. It could be hypoxic confusion, or it could be related to a number of other things. It could have vascular dementia, or it could be medication related, or any number of other things. So in these cases, when I'm not sure what to do, I will look at which was diagnosed first. If the confusion was diagnosed way before the COPD, I'm going to say it's a comorbid. If it was diagnosed after the COPD, probably going to call it a secondary. And remember, um, talk with your IDT team when determining the diagnosis because the physician has the ultimate decision on what is related and what is not related. So I hope this tip was helpful. If you have any tips that you think would be helpful for hospice nurses, please let me know. I'd love to share them here. And remember, together we can change our world.